Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be starting a new series on my channel and this is going to be an A to Z of card folds. So if that sounds something you'd like to follow along to or maybe you'd like to join in with, please do make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you've rung the bell for notifications so you get told when I'm uploading videos. And if you find today's video useful or you enjoy it, please do remember to also hit the thumbs up button. So as I just mentioned, this is going to be a series and it's going to be an A to Z of card folds. I absolutely love making fun folds and trying out the various different folds out there. So I thought it would be really fun to turn that into a series on the channel. So my main resource for this series will be a blog called Becky's Blog and she does have an A to Z of card folds on there. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will link it in the description box of the video so you can pop over and have a look. It's very well known in the crafting world. Um, but I guess depending how new you are to the card making world, you may or may not have heard of this blog, so I will link it. Although Becky's blog will be my primary source of inspiration for these folds, I may at times use other crafters' inspiration. So people like Sam Calcott or Elle Melvin, Helen Griffin or Natasha Foote. If I use someone else, I will reference them in the video and also link them in the description box of this video. Now, I will start a hashtag with this series in case you did want to follow along or join in. So we're just going to put it as a hashtag A to Z of card folds. I'll also leave all my social media information in the description box of the video. So please do feel free to tag me if you decide to join in. So that's enough waffling from me. Let's get in to the very first card in the series. So we're starting with A, obviously. So today's card is going to be an accordion card. I've pre-prepped a lot of this to try and keep the video at a reasonable length. Um, and this card is exceptionally easy to make. So these are a few of the things I'm going to be using. I've grabbed my gold um, coloured paper pad from Hobbycraft. I've got my tonic amber yellow 12 by 12 cardstock. They don't sell this anymore, sadly, but I did stock up when they had it in clearance. So I'm trying to make sure I use my stash and not hoard it. And I thought these two would go really well with beach life. Now, if you've been with me a while, you will know I am a huge house couple ditch fan. So it will be no surprise that for my first fun fold, I have pulled out one of her collections. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Let me show you how to make the accordion card. As I previously said, I will leave the Becky's blog link in the description box of this video for you. And that's where you'll find some information on this card. But I will also do a blog post to go alongside it. And all the measurements you need will be on there. But to start with, we're going to be using the tonic card as our base. This measures six inches by 12 inches. And then really simply, we're going to score at three inches. We're going to score at six inches and we're going to score at nine inches. And that is literally all of the scoring that we need to do. So now we can get rid of our um, scoreboard. What we need to do now is fold and burnish these score lines. So we'll start with the six inch line, the line in the middle. We're literally just going to fold that in half, making sure all of the ends line up nicely. And then we can just burnish that. And this tonic cardstock is only about 216 GSM, I think. But because we're adding mats and layers to it, that will strengthen it up. Okay, so this is where we are right now. Now the other two score lines that we created, we're literally going to fold them back on themselves. Again, make sure everything lines up nicely. When you're happy, you can just burnish those lines. And the same with this one, just fold it back on itself. Line everything up nicely. 
and then just burnish. When you open it out, you should have an M shape. Okay, there we go. It doesn't matter which side you decide to go. I think I'm going to go this way. So the next thing we need are some mats and layers. So I'm just going to bring mine in here. So we have four of these. I've left one separate to show you and the rest I have glued down. So this first layer here, this one measures two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And then the patterned paper measures two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And you need to cut four of each of those. Then you're just going to adhere them together so that there's a nice even border all the way around. And then you can attach them straight onto the different segments of your card base. Now it's entirely up to you how you do this um, and it, you don't have to have two different patterns. I just really like the two different patterns. So I'm going to get that all glued on really quickly and then I will come straight back to you and we'll do the next bit. That's all now stuck down. I've tried to make sure that not only have I got nice equal borders all the way around, that the bottom and top of each layer has lined up nicely. Now it's time to find somewhere for our sentiment to go and I've already pre-stamped mine and mounted it on some really pretty glitter cardstock that was in the Golds paper pack. Now my glitter card measures two and five eighths by five and five eighths and my white cardstock measures two and a half by five and a half. Now it's entirely up to you where you place this bit. You might like to place it on the end here. Personally I'm going on this third panel from the left um, and that's where I'm going to be putting mine so I'm just going to put that in place with some glue so as you can see that's all now stuck down and the great thing about this card is it does fold flat for postage and it's really quite small so this is great if you want a nice cheap option for postage that looks really effective when it's done. As you can see when it's done it is going to stand like so. So now is the fun part and it's time to decorate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop you on high speed while I get decorating and then we'll come back and look at the finished card at the end. And there you go, that is the finished card. I thought it was really important to show you with this first card that it doesn't matter if you don't have a full collection, that you can still create a beautiful card. I have never ever had the full collection of Beach Life. I was seriously late to the party with that collection. So I fussy cut all of these buckets and spades from the paper pads and the bunting and then I've just popped them up on foam pads. I think this looks super super cute. It folds down nicely for postage because I've used foam pads obviously that's added some dimension so it may need to go up possibly a stamp size but I'm pretty sure I'll still get away with a small stamp for that one. We'll see. But I think that's a really pretty card. It's really effective. It was really quick and easy to do. And it's a great card to start my A to Z of card fold series with. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're going to follow along or join in, please do tag me on social media or use the hashtag. I'd really, really appreciate that. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please also hit the subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow and reach more people. Let me know what you think of the card down in the comment section. I'd absolutely love to know what you think. And let me know if you're going to give it a go.
Thank you so so much for watching today. I really do appreciate everyone who stops by and watches my video, everyone that leaves a comment, everyone that subscribes. It really does mean the absolute world to me. I will be back soon with more videos. So until next time, thank you once again for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.